Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Simply Marbs, Maestro Olaso. Paano nga ba maging marunong sa math? Yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Kaya, tara na, matuto! Actually, ang maging magaling sa math ay mahirap nating makuha kasi mostly mga gifted lamang ang binibiyayaan nito. Sa katulad nating mga average lang ang IQ, ang tanging pagiging marunong lang ang ating makukuha. Kaya, meron akong lima tips na ito na maaaring makatulong kung paano nga maging marunong sa mathematics. Yes. First thing to do, love math. Yes, the first thing to do is to accept and love mathematics. Most of the people say that mathematics is a very difficult subject. I beg to disagree. Maybe because some think that they don't like math and they hate it because hindi yun ang kanilang interest. But if you are going to love it, mas ma-appreciate mo na, okay, madali lang pala. Kaya alisin ang mga agam-agam. Ito ang sinasabi ko sa mga pupils ko. Love math and it will love you back. The second tip is that master the four basic operations. Dapat ngayon pa lang, alam mo na ang 7 plus 5, 12 minus 3, 6 times 4, 18 divided by 3. You don't need to memorize all the numbers. You just find the secret behind it. Dapat alam mo na rin yung mga properties of addition and multiplication. When we say properties, example, 7 plus 4 is same as 4 plus 7. 3 times 9 is same as 9 times 3. We call that commutative property of addition and, and multiplication. Okay, anong ibig sabihin nun? Changing the order. Kahit balibalik ta rin mo yung ayos ng addends or ng factors, It does not affect the sum, yung sagot, or the product. Okay? Tapat alam mo na rin na ang addition is the opposite only of subtraction and vice versa. Example, 7 plus 5 equals 12. When you subtract 12 minus 5 equals 7. Or 12 minus 7 equals 5. And also, The multiplication is the opposite of division and vice versa. Example, 9 times 3 equals 27. When you divide, 27 divided by 3, we have 9. And 27 divided divided by 9 is equal to 3. And that's it. Now, it is the best time. And this is the best time to do it. Now na. Okay, the third tip is that make or take a note. Napaka-importante na kapag meron kang, meron kayong discussion o meron kang ina-attendan na lecture at nakikinig ka sa, sa lecturer mo or sa teacher mo, you do the note-taking. That's very important. Bakit? Para yung mga examples ng inyong discussion, ng inyong mga lectures, ay nailalagay mo sa inyong notebook. Para kapag may nakalimutan ka, meron kang babalikan. Especially in math, the processes, the steps are very important in solving different problems. So, mas maganda, merong nakalagay sa notebook mo at merong kang i-review kapag nakalimutan mo. So, starting now, get or prepare your math notebook. Alright! Alright, the fourth one is keep practicing. Di ba meron tayong kasabihan? Practice makes perfect. Pero sabi ng mga estudyante ko, Sir, nobody's perfect. Kaya nga, etong mas maganda. Correct practice or good practice makes you grow and develop. 
So keep on practicing. Minsan kasi practice tayo ng practice pero maling method ang pinapractice natin. So you are practicing the wrong way. Kaya sa mathematics kailangan you have the correct method, correct strategies, correct steps in solving problems para tama ang iyong pinapractice. Diba? Kaya dapat hinahasa natin ang ating mga sarili sa pagpapractice. Kaya nga ako sa aking mga math video lessons kung matatandaan nyo, nagbibigay ako ng math try nga kasi I want you to practice kung ano yung ibinigay ko sa inyo para maku- makuha ninyo yung skill na gusto kong makuha ninyo. ba diba? So, ano pang gagawin lagi? Wala nang iba. Keep on practicing. Practice ng practice. Now na. And for the last tip we have, find your best buddy. Yes, you have to choose your true friends. Friends to keep. No? Pipiliin nyo yung mga kaibigan na maasahan. Hindi yung dadalin ka lang sa kalokohan at sa kapahamakan. So, there are some friends na talaga namang matinik, matalino sa mathematics. So, sila yung mga kaibigan na talaga namang maasahan mo sa oras ng kagipitan at pangangailangan. So, ako... So, ako, syempre, isama nyo na rin ako. Ako ang inyong magiging best buddy with my math video lesson. So, tuturuan ko kayo, especially gan yung mga grade 4, 5, and 6 pupils dyan. Ako ang bahala sa inyo. So, thank you for keep on uh, subscribing, for keep on watching my video. So, ishare nyo ito sa lahat ng mga classmates nyo. Ano? So, yan ang aking Limath Tips na maaaring makatulong para maging marunong sa mathematics. At iyan ang aking lima tips kung paano maging marunong sa mathematics. I hope na may natutunan kayo sa akin kahit pa paano. Kaya, like, comment, and share this to everyone. Maraming salamat and this is your Simply Morbs, Maestro o Lasso na nagsasabing hanggang sa muli nating pag-uusap. And happy life! Sorry, it's DJ.